at how far we've come. I was always destined to become a queen. And you a knight. Just like that facile human game you like so much. Knights are so powerful there. Agile and unpredictable. But there's only a thin line between the knights and the pawns. Do you know which side you're on? Ah, now the witness. There's a king with vision. It has an end in mind, and it knows what that means. Your game has always been the attack and trade, the thrill of victory, and the agony of retreat. When the means is violence, you're happy to no end. But this game isn't fought to the last night standing, or even the queen. It ends when the king has no moves left. Not endless fighting, but the end of fighting. Listen to me go on. You've got other problems wherever you are. You've been locked out of your own castle. Mortal for the first time in millennia. As someone recently back from the dead, I sympathize. But before you move to retaliate, just check. What will it mean to be a knight? After the game has ended. The spire has shifted, and there is yet another enigma to unravel. Savathun still desires to be beyond our understanding, even without the threat of her worm. She fed on lies for eons. Perhaps she simply enjoys it now. Guardian. Don't give Savathun the satisfaction. Well done, Guardian. Savathun has endless schemes, and many of them start right here. My hidden can observe, but it's important that you maintain a forceful vanguard presence on her throne world. The Witch Queen needs to be reminded that she can't operate with impunity anymore. I built this fire piece by piece with my will. Everything here serves one purpose, mastery of our light. Guardians have tested the light's boundaries for as long as you've had it. I thought I'd do the same. After so many years finding the limits of high magic, it was lovely to stretch my wings. Our runes hold power. You're writing yourself a little spell with each path you take. I hope you're paying attention. Though even when you stumble, you're giving me some delicious tribute. So, Eris Mord became the Hive God of Vengeance. We all saw that coming. But oh, how she reveled in it. She's always been so buttoned up. Formal, aloof. It must have been good to see her finally cut loose. When you peeked under that bandage, what did you see? I think it was her truth. I love that for her. 